Welcome back to part 6 of Feel the Beat with FL Studio. In this section, we are going to look at some of the basic functions in the mixer window. The mixer is a convenient place to adjust the balance between different sounds and effects. We can open it using the View Mixer button at the top of the screen. At its default, all of our sounds are being sent to the master channel. What we want to do is separate our sounds across individual channels. To do so, in the sequencer window, click on the kick sampler and open the channel settings. Next, in the top right corner, click and drag the target mixer track selector and select number one. The kick should now be playing through channel one on the mixer. Also, you can use the channel settings menu and choose assign to free mixer track which is handy when dealing with a large number of tracks. Using either method, let's separate all of our sounds across the mixer. It's a good idea to send our cloned hi-hats to the same channel so they will be processed the same, along with any other tracks you have cloned. Now, when we press play or hit the spacebar, we can see the volume levels for each sound. These meters can help us make sure nothing is too loud. Remember to pay attention and keep these meters from reaching into the red. We can adjust the levels for each sound using the faders here. Also, each channel has its own pan knob and we can mute or solo a channel by left or right clicking the green LED. The mixer also has a built-in EQ for each channel, which you can access by selecting a channel and adjusting the settings in the lower right hand side of the mixer. We'll go into EQing in more detail in our next episode. Also, to add an effect to a sound, select the channel that you want to affect and choose a device from the drop down menu list on the right. Keep in mind that when we add more than one effect to a channel, the effects also affect each other, so changing the order here will create different results when you are looking for a particular sound. Again, in our next part, we'll show some examples to demonstrate. Remember, there are 10 parts in this tutorial, so be sure to check out the other episodes in the Feel the Beat with FL Studio series.